Hello, friends. In this episode, we're going to take you to several restaurants that we have tried here in La Paz, Baja California Sur, and give you our first impressions of them. But first, I need your help. I need your assistance. Ever since we began this channel, we've released three episodes every week, 12 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. I'm just not sure that we should be doing that many. Some of the information that I've seen suggest just once per week or even once per month. Some YouTube channels do two a week, some do three a week, some do five a week. The theory there is that maybe more episodes are more than you really want to watch. And this channel is for you. In the comment section, let me know what you suggest. Are there certain days and times that you specifically watch our videos? And how many per week is the right amount for you? Let me know your answer, please. And I'll give the total of that in an upcoming episode and tell you what our plans will be. So how many and what day and time of the week? Also, let me know what city you watch from. That would be kind of cool to know. Okay, eating out in La Paz, Baja California Sur, Mexico. I've split this into two episodes, so to get the complete experience, make sure to watch the next episode too. Thank you, friend. Enjoy. All right, this is not what we normally suggest doing, walking out after dark, but we just got into La Paz a few hours ago, walked down to a great burger place, and I'll show that to you in a few minutes. And um, Jenny, went in her first grocery store. It was a Shidrawi. I mean, it was very, very, very nice. And, uh, well, there it is. There's a picture of her in there. But, uh, hey, we're loving La Paz so far. We discovered Malaya, and it's become one of our favorites. It's right beside a Shidrawi grocery store that we frequent. And it's only about a mile away from the Airbnb that we stayed at. Malaya caters to a more international clientele, from some of the familiar menu items right down to the music. When you first sit down, they bring out the familiar tortilla chips and sauces, but also a delicious bean and cheese dip. The burgers and pizza are top-notch, the service is perfecto, and like I said, we returned here several times, so that should tell you something. Welcome to Malaya, the best burgers. Next, we visited Minato, a Japanese restaurant in La Paz. What's really cool is that as you walk back through the winding entrance, you pass through a game court. This is excellent to entertain the kids while they wait for dinner and to expend some of that energy that they have. When I checked out the restroom, I must admit that I was impressed with the sink. Nearly flat, but with enough curve and excellent drainage, it doesn't overflow. It's the little things that just keep me impressed. Okay, Renee's been having a desire for some Japanese, and we had, what is it called? The Yakameshi. I'm sorry? Yakameshi. Yakameshi. And it was good. It was very good. Hi friends, we are at Marisco's. We've been traveling by, and you've probably seen it in a previous video, where we looked by and the place was full 
Well, we got here early when they were just opening up on a Sunday and gonna try some of the food. Let you know what we think. I like trying out the fruit drinks and so they had some great juices and I believe this was a pineapple and Renee sticks to her Jamaica. And I actually tried some and it was pretty good. They specialize, of course, in seafood and just look at this plate of food that I got. And oh my soul, look, open this up. Look in there. Yum, 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 yum. But wait, let's give Jenny a little bite. And it's Jenny approved. Okay. The fruit juice was so good that I actually tried a different one, and it was good too. This one was Fresa, strawberry. One day we were out walking on the Malacan and saw El Parai. It looked good, so we thought we'd go try it out. There was a mariachi band playing in there. Just look at that view behind Renee, right there on the water. Now there's a guy outside, they've got a stand out there where I mean, you can come up and get uh, street food there or he'll fix it uh, for a caviche or fix some to bring inside as well. That's all part of the same establishment. I went back to my old faithful, the horchata, and it's good drink, it is really good. Now, while I enjoyed fish tacos, Renee had shrimp tacos, and I think I tried one of hers. She wouldn't try one of mine. She doesn't like fish, but man, it's, it's good. Oh my gracious. I think this was the best fish tacos I've ever had in my life. Delicious tacos at El Parahi, I guess that's the way you say it, right on or right across the street from the Malachite, right across the street from the water here in La Paz. Not too far from where we're staying, there is a Soriana. Soriana is a grocery store. This one is sitting in like a shopping mall, parking garage below Soriana. You can take the escalators upstairs to the uh, grocery store itself. But all around it, there are other shops. Got jalapenos, and you got their special sauce, I guess. And in the napkin, you've got your mustard and your ketchup, mustard and ketchup packets there. And the burger does look good. It's like a smash burger, so. And if you're feeling like we'll just see. a yeah, not the gourmet burger, but just a regular burger like you get from a fast food place. Here was a nice place to, to get one. And it's right beside a Dairy Queen or a Deku Express no. where you can get some ice cream. Jenny likes ice cream. <laughs> oh well, Dairy Queen. Hey, I, I got a, a chocolate extreme blizzard. I'm always scared to do that. <laughs> And uh, I'll put the price there for you, what we paid for. Uh, you know, kind of, you know, it's an Americanized price thing, I guess. But hey, it's, it's a blizzard, so it's good. <laughs> no, I don't want you to film me. Oh, I forget it. It's ice cream. Before we would get to Soriana, there is a cafe, Cafe California, and we'd been meaning to try it. We decided to try it for breakfast one day. Take a look at what we got. Wow. Wow. Cheers. Go to the last drop.
Sometimes you just want a street taco, and so we hit it up to El Gran Pastor, where you can get some delicious, relatively inexpensive food. The tacos are 40 pesos each, and they are stuffed full of meat. Of course, you can go up to the condiment bar and put as much other stuff on there as you would like. Renee enjoyed a huge Jamaica drink, and it was 50 pesos. Hey friend, thank you so much for watching our videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also drop us in the comment your vote on whether we continue doing three a week or how many you think is the right amount per week and what day of the week and time that you would watch it, that it would be best for you. Let us know what city and what country or state that you are living in. We appreciate that. Thank you for joining us on the journey. In our next video, we will give you more of the places that we have eaten at and enjoyed here in beautiful La Paz.